हेलो एवरी वन टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट सिटीजनशिप इन इंडिया सिटीजनशिप इज द स्टेटस ऑफ अ पर्सन रिकोगनाइज अंडर लॉ एज अ बींग अ लीगल मेंबर ऑफ अ सॉवरन स्टेट और बिलोंगिंग टू वन नेशन इन इंडिया आर्टिकल फाइव टू इलेवन ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डील्स विद द कंसेप्ट ऑफ सिटीजनशिप द टर्म सिटीजनशिप एंटेल्स एंजॉयमेंट ऑफ अ फुल मेंबरशिप ऑफ एनी स्टेट इन विद अ सिटीजन हैज सिविल एंड पोलिटिकल राइट्स आर्टिकल फाइव सिटीजनशिप एट द कमेंसमेंट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन This article talks about citizenship for a people at the commencement of the constitution that is 26 January 1950 under this citizenship is conferred upon those person who have their domicile in india territory who was born in india territory or whose either parents was born in india territory who has ordinarily been a resident of india for less not less than 5 years immediately preceding the commencement of the constitution article 6 citizenship of certain person who have migrated from pakistan any person who has migrated from pakistan shall be citizen of india at the time of commencement of the constitution if he or either of his parents any of his grandparents was born in india as given in the government of india act 1935 b in case in case such a person has migrated before 19th july 1948 and has been ordinarily resident in india since his migration b in case such as a person has migrated after july 1948 and he has been registered as a citizen of india by an officer appointed in that behalf by the government of the dominion of india on an application made by him there of the such an officer before the commencement of the constitution provided that no person shall be so registered unless he has been resident in india or for at least 6 months immediately from the date of his application article 7 citizenship of certain migrants to pakistan this article deals with the rights of a people who had migrated to pakistan after 1st march 1947 but subsequently returned to india article 8 citizenship of certain person of indian origin residing outside india this article deals with the right of people of an indian origin residing outside india for purpose of employment marriage and education that's all guys we will see you in the next video tada